Hello, Virgo. Okay, this is a quick reading in regards to. Oh, I just broke my nail. Oh, Lord, it's just a mess. Okay. I'm going to move right along. All right. So, okay, back focused on Virgo. So, this is a quick reading about love. Sorry, guys. Um,. But it's going to be a little different because we're going to pull two cards for my Virgos who are dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then, you know, two cards for each sign, uh, each uh, element. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, and Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I have shuffled the cards and prayed over them off camera. Let's get started, guys. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, King of... Oh, jeez. Your cards have been flipping like that for... Well, off camera. Alright, so two cards for water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, two cards for fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay. I'm gonna put that back. If it comes back out, it was meant to be. Whoa, my gosh. Virgo, what do you have to say is a lie to you? Um, Cap uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Two of Wands, Three of Swords. Oh, wow, that's so funny because I didn't turn over any other cards. So, I don't know. Anyway, I don't even know what that means. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We'll, I guess we'll start with them. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the High Priestess. Um, some of you are making plans behind the scenes some of you are hiding some things it could be secrets it could be lies it could be a whole nother person that you're hiding um yeah very well could be uh some of you are on a quest to just find knowledge you know find that hidden knowledge that esoteric knowledge that you, some of you know it too you know things you um You know the inner workings of life. You're trying to heighten your spirituality and your intuition also. By way of learning. Okay, so if you're dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Two of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Some of you are definitely either... Well, this is action. So some of you are actively choosing a new path. Uh, sun, moon, or sun, Moon, or Rising, Virgo. Um, you're having separation and or divorce due to infidelity could be a third party situation or there's a need to practice caution in this relationship um, maybe because someone is doing this to you someone is contemplating walking away is walking away is in a third party situation okay so those of you dealing with water cancer pisces scorpio page of swords ace of cups uh, dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The messages are short. They're frank and they're to the point. But there's still love here. There's some... something happened or something is between you two something has come between you two okay some of so for some of my virgos you feel like the cancer pisces scorpio is way too emotional and you're trying to deal with that 
by way of maybe not communicating truth your truth as much or you're really trying to you're just being short you still love this person I mean it's still likeness here but really trying to figure them out and figure out if this is the best uh, relationship for you dealing with Capricorn Virgo Taurus like yourself we have the devil and the five of sword all right so um dealing with Capricorn Virgo Taurus like yourself there very well could be a hidden person a third party it could be a toxic toxic relationship or something where you feel like they're you're obligated to be in it's karmic you need to learn a lesson you need to um, free yourself you need to know that you can and you will uh, flourish uh, alone but there is opposition here there is heavy argument there is um, a tearing away of because there is something or someone uh, external to an established relationship it's to the point where you just say anything and the other person says anything to you you care less about the feelings the emotion you just want this person to be quiet or you just want to win an argument and or this is how you feel about another person it could be a Capricorn um, wow it's heavy like you, you you need to free yourself from this you're working in some very low vibrational energy here Aries Sagittarius Leo yeah uh, some truth and clarity came out about the Aries Sagittarius or Leo still not being honest still sneaking around still lying still putting you in a third party situation uh, in which you tried to rebuild but the universe came in and just gave you the information that you needed to um, move away from once again or at least you know what's going on here um, there's a lot of grief there's heartache here uh, some of you are trying to mask it by way of work or you're trying to push it down and say it doesn't exist because there there is a reputation or some type of idea of your relationship you're trying to uphold okay anyhow um request a personal reading if you want to expound on this energy your energy what what do the cards have to say for you um all of my information is below my website um you can email me you can follow me on Instago, ask a question or two there. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Um, remember to comment because it automatically enters you to win a free reading. Thank you once again for tuning in. Remember to stay in prayer. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.